welcome to another video of under 5 minute series. Here we try to learn a concept in less than 5 minutes. So the topic for today is quasicrystals. So today we will get to know about what are quasicrystals. So what if I tell you that or say what if I ask you what do a frying pan or an LED light have in common? Well, most people would struggle to find a link. But then, when such kind of questions are asked to material scientists, material scientists surely find these kind of questions interesting. Now, a general person would struggle to find a link, whereas a material scientist would say that there is a substantial connection between these two items. Now, this connection flipped the world of material science since its discovery almost 38 years ago. Well, the magic ingredient which is common to these two items is quasi-periodic crystals, which are popularly known as quasi-crystals. Now imagine, what if I tell you that something which is ordered yet lacks periodicity? Sounds strange, right? Now this strange thing was seemingly impossible 38 years ago but then the impossible atomic arrangement was discovered by Dan Shetman in 1982. Here we have an image of Dan Shetman holding his so-called discovery the impossible atomic arrangement which is also known as quasi crystal. Dan Shipman was the winner of Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 2011 for his discovery of seemingly impossible crystal in metal alloys or in simpler terms for his discovery of quasi crystals. On the right we have an image or a GIF of quasi crystals. Now, before Shetman discovered quasi crystals in 1982, solids on the basis of structure were divided into crystalline and amorphous. We all know crystalline are ordered and they have periodicity, whereas amorphous are those which lack order and periodicity both. But then after the discovery in 1982, solids are classified as crystalline, quasi-crystalline and amorphous. Now quasi term literally means almost. So when I talk about quasi-crystalline or quasi-crystals, I mean these are almost crystals. So the definition must be similar to crystalline solids. So basically a quasi crystal is a crystalline structure that breaks the periodicity means it has an ordered arrangement but then it lacks periodicity in other way i can also say that it has a translational symmetry which a normal crystal would possess but then there's no periodic arrangement now if there is no periodic arrangement, this means that the quasi-crystalline pattern will fill all the available spaces just like a normal crystal does. But then crystals are periodic which is evident by the fact that they are repeating themselves. But then quasi-crystals lack this periodicity. Now this means that if a quasi crystal will fill all the available spaces but then it will fill it in such a way that the pattern of its atomic arrangement will never repeat itself because of no periodicity so what i have here is glasses which are again amorphous so there's no order there's no periodicity in the middle we have ordinary crystals which are ordered and then there is periodicity 
on the left we have quasi crystals which are ordered yet they lack periodicity we take an image from the pages of history which shows similar patterns as of quasi crystals the similar kind of patterns can be seen in tiled islamic mosques at alhambra palace in spain also at darb e imam which is present in iran now these kind of patterns were thought could never exist in nature so if you want me to summarize quasi crystals what we have learned till now is crystals are both ordered and periodic amorphous lack both order and periodic and quasi crystals lie in the midway of crystalline solids and amorphous solids that is they have order but then they lack the periodicity so quasi crystals are ordered structures which are not periodic so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed learning about quasi crystals thank you happy learning guys